Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We are going to do some more fall decorating today here in my kitchen. We are going for a cozy farmhouse feel like always, but sprinkling in fall all throughout the kitchen. So I'm going to start off by cleaning off my floating shelves here in the kitchen. I'm going to add some cookbooks and I'm going to be decorating with copper and baskets. Lots of these items were thrifted or items I've had for a long time. So I'm going to just start by placing things around, kind of just working with the placement. I've got some white pictures. I love decorating with plates and pumpkins, bud vases for flowers. I also love getting little baskets from the thrift store and wooden spoons. I'm gonna add this dried floral wreath into this basket. I really wanted my kitchen to to stay true to its roots and have things that were very natural and neutral and things that were useful in the kitchen. So I'm putting some mums into this copper bowl. Those mums were from Home Depot and they were on clearance for a dollar. So it was such a steal. Check out your local hardware store. They usually will have little mini mums that are perfect for decorating in small baskets or bowls in your kitchen you can do so much with them but now we're moving on to the second shelf and I hung this pumpkin sign I've had that for years and years it was from Kirkland's a long time ago and then I've got my flour and sugar canisters a basket with some pumpkins those are all from Hobby Lobby I've got a scale that I thrifted and then I have this little I think it's a teapot, but it's a little copper element. And then these wooden pears, I just love. Those are recently from Home Goods. And then I have another mum that I put in a terracotta pot. And then I'm calling the shelves good. I just love the textures of the baskets, the pop of color with the copper, but it's not overboard screaming fall. I just wanted to keep it very simple. So now I'm just going to clean off my countertop and I'm going to keep this very minimal. I'm laughing because I accidentally hit the on button and my mixer just started going crazy so it scared me whenever it came on but anyways we're going to kind of anchor the mixer down and set it up cute for fall sometimes I will do this other times I'll just have it sitting on the counter because I do use it pretty often but I have this tray that is really old I think it was from TJ Maxx you can find them there or hearth and hand has a lot of serving trays that are good too and I'm just gonna clean it off and then I have this hobnail bowl that's from Big Lots I had to think for a second it was from Big Lots I think it was like eight dollars and I have some pears and pumpkins from Joann's and then a salt and pepper shaker and I love that it has copper and gold on the salt and pepper so it's just another little pop of metal and then I'm going to spray the rest of my counters off and get them nice and clean I like to clean as I go whenever I'm decorating because things get messy especially if you are decorating with dried florals or anything so I'm also going to set some wooden trays over the electrical outlet that way it just kind of hides it on that wall and then we're going to decorate the little rack that I have over here on the side of my countertops I've got a hot pad a little serving bowl and then this copper bowl and just kept it pretty simple I love decorating this scale with some dried florals or different things that are fitting for the season. So I'm going to first stick a towel in the bottom. That way it kind of fills this space. And then I'm dumping in a bunch of dried fruit. I got this huge bag last year from Home Goods and it still smells really good, but I am gonna add some essential oils to it just to give it even more of a scent. But there's oranges and apples and all kinds of good stuff in there and then for these hooks I always keep an apron up on this long hook and then I'm going to layer these shorter hooks one with this hearth in hand and towel 
It's from this year and I think they are like $3.99. Such a good deal and I love the flower sack type of towels to use for drying off dishes. I also have a hot pad and then a copper bowl. It's kind of like a colander but I don't actually use it for that. It was thrifted and I think it's kind of old so I just use it for decor and then I have some measuring spoons as well and I'm just going to play around with these until I feel like it's right. For the rest of my kitchen, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I do have an Alexa in our kitchen and I like to hide it. That way it's not like out in the open. And I'm going to do that by using this cookbook holder, which is great. It's actually new from Hearth and Hand. I showed it in my Target Shop With Me video, but it holds bigger size cookbooks, which I love. When you're actually using it, it holds it open. So I'm just going to set my Magnolia Table cookbook in there. And then for the rest of the countertops, I'm just going to wipe them down. And then I always keep my cake stand over in this corner, just because I do use it to put my baked goods in. I love making muffins or cookies throughout the week so I always like to have that out. And then this little stand is so cute. It was in the Target dollar spot this year. It was five dollars and then I'm just going to set this hearth and hand floral arrangement from last year some pumpkins on there and call it good and then I also like to set my essential oils on there sometimes with a diffuser nearby um, just for daily use but now I'm going to clean off the microwave stove dishwasher and fridge and I'm also going to put out a new hand towel um, that I grabbed from Home Goods. I have a Home Goods shop with me that is going to be up on my channel really soon, and that is the last fall shop with me video of the season. So stay tuned for that. They are getting all of their Halloween decor out as well, so it's going to be a really fun one. For the countertop, I wanted to have a statement piece, so I grabbed this huge white pitcher that I bought off of my friend, The Simplistic Home. She does a lot of resale, thrifted, antiqued items and has a booth in my area, so I love shopping her booth. And I grabbed these two packs of florals from Hobby Lobby. I thought they were stunning. Such beautiful fall colors. I was actually in the front of Hobby Lobby picking out individual stems. And whenever I got to the main fall aisle, I looked at my bundle and then looked at this one and was like, this is exactly what I was trying to create. So it worked out perfect and it was really affordable. All of the fall florals were 40% off. So I grabbed both of these for under $20 which I thought was a good deal if you were to buy all of the stems individually and I love that even though they are faux floral stems I can use them each year and I don't have to worry about repurchasing fresh flowers even though I do like doing that on occasion so this is how it turned out out. I didn't add anything more to it, but I just love the browns and creams and almost orange colors that are in the flowers here.
I'm setting out one of my favorite candles, Hello Autumn by Copper Candle Co. And it smells amazing. So I'll have a link down in the description box if you guys want to get some Copper Candle Co. candles. They are my favorite natural soy candles. They have clean wicks and they smell amazing. I do have a coupon code as well. But I hung up this little hearth and hand wreath on the pantry with a command hook. You literally can't even see it. So command hooks are a game changer when decorating because you don't have to commit to putting a nail on the door or in the wall. They really are like my favorite. So put one of those on there. And then now I'm going to quickly sweep the floors and I will put down this rug that I grabbed from Target last week. It's in the Threshold brand and I just love it so much. I think it gives a lot of warmth and texture and richness to the space, which is perfect for fall. Alright, now I'm going to light a candle and take it all in. I hope this video inspired you when you are decorating for fall to make your home nice and cozy. You do not need to go out and buy a bunch of new decor. Just taking things that you already have in your home and adding a few floral picks to it or lighting a candle really sets the mood for fall and the cozy times that are ahead. So let me know if you you are decorating for fall or if you already have and are enjoying it let me know down in the comments below thank you guys so much for being here as always I appreciate each one of you for watching my videos this is my second video that I have done in my fall decorate with me series and I have one more left so I will be decorating my living room entryway and a little cozy nook in my next one so stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the videos
Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today and decorating our kitchen for fall. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. I'll have a fall playlist linked down below, but I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.